Okay, balance trackers. Let's get started. Let's start the party. Move, move up. Come on, man. My job is to get you pumped up, right? Track you up a little bit. My job is to say balance, track. You give me balance, you give me track. Balance, track. Come on, man. Let's, let's try it. Ready? Balance, track. Balance, track. Balance, track. Track-tastic. Track-tastic. Well, well, welcome to the balance tra the official Balance 4.0 launch celebration, right? As, as the newest Berkshire teammate and balance tracker, I've learned how balance track started 15 years ago, how it has, how it has, how it has matured, how it has evolved from an applicant flow log 15 years ago to the sassiest town acquisition system out there on the market. Right? Four t over 14,000 users, over 40,000 requisitions, and over 7.5 million job seekers. So a lot to be proud of. Right? So as we've tested, we're migrating, we're marketing, we're demoing, implementing, and supporting. Right? Don't forget the critical highlights and enhancements of 4.0. Right, a one-click, one-click dashboard for multiple profiles. <coughs> Requisition management, job seeker management, automated workflow, enhanced candidate experience, all makes 4.0, 4.0, simple, powerful, and adaptable, outstanding. So tonight we have a great lineup at Groove Commerce. We're gonna have Minoj, I'm gonna introduce him in a minute. Uh, we have a special guest, we're gonna ask Carl, and, and ultimately Beth to come up and talk about how important 4.0 is to us. So with that, we'll bring you Balance Track 4.0. In a world where 80% of customers are unhappy with their applicant tracking systems, we built a simpler solution. Balance Track is a simple to use ATS built to solve everyday recruitment challenges using the features you need without the clutter of the ones you don't. With Balance Track's flexible design and recruitment tools, you can fill one or a hundred positions with less time and less effort. And because Balance Track is set up for your process and your people, it also integrates with other tools in your HR tool set. With Balance Track, you get the support, features, and hires you need for long term success. We are proud of our 30 year history helping HR professionals, and Balance Track is our latest innovation. We made it easy to implement and easy to use, ultimately, making it easy to hire. Schedule a demo of Balance Track today, and let's get to work on a smarter recruiting process. All right, everyone, can you hear me? Yes, even without this, you could hear me, right? <laughs> Thank you for coming today. It was, uh, it was an uh, event we have been planning for the last uh, couple of months, but uh, it was so hard to find date that matches everybody's schedule. 
So finally, we uh, decided on uh, doing this thing on a day which is a very auspicious day. Uh, it's uh, for uh, people of Indian background, uh, for coming from Hindu background. It's like our Christmas. It's Diwali day. So best day to launch <laughs> balance track party. Yes. <laughs> So that was a surprise announcement. <laughs> so, so today we are, uh, I'm uh, also expecting uh, somebody else to join as our guest. Uh, we have recently uh, uh, acquired services of one of our uh, HR talent acquisition guru. His name is Tim Sackett. And I said, hey, why don't you come on over and uh, talk to us as well, introduce to Berkshire team. So hopefully he'll join. In the meantime, I can uh, talk about balance track journey. The, the balance track journey which I started uh, and Carl was the only, uh, Candace, were you there in 2003? Yes. So there are three original people from a balance track team <laughs> and we, uh, we started this back then. So how did we start? And this will work soon. There we go. How it all started. Technology always works when nobody is watching. <laughs> it's one of those situations where, where you go and say, hey, something is going wrong with my computer. And as soon as you bring the technical support person, it doesn't up, uh, happen. That's exactly what happens here. So, <laughs> so while we are talking about that, <clears throat> uh, did everybody get some food or drinks? <laughs> if you didn't, it's a good time to get it. Especially the drinks, you may need those <laughs> after my presentation <laughs> or during my presentation. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. There we go. Thank you. So, year 2003, we were doing their affirmative action plans uh, before that, it started in 1999 and, or 2001. But during those conversations, which I used to have with their AAP uh, management team, and figured uh, they expressed their concerns over their applicant data. People were collecting the d data uh, through on Excel sheet and sending it to them. Everybody was entering whatever they felt like. There were no rules or anything. The AAP management team was uh, totally tired of managing it. They could not manage it. So here is what happened. Manoj proposed his imaginary, oh sorry, visionary solution and uh, convinced them that uh, this will be a great idea. So because of that, we developed a development team that had no idea what we, are, we were going to do, what I promised Sodexo. And uh, <laughs> Carl started working on it frantically with his team. And, uh, uh, Candace was hired right around that time, and uh, we started developing this program called Applicant Flow Log System. And that was our uh, uh, first step into balance track development. So this was developed as a custom solution for Sodexo, right? For one client. So from that, we developed. I'm money hungry. I always look for clients. <laughs> one client is never enough. So went on and say, hey, maybe we can talk to other clients. And they, had, they have uh, the same problem. And once we started talking to them, people really caught on to that, say, yeah, 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 we have problem. And we started selling. And we converted that into what we call now a SaaS solution. SaaS was not a term anybody knew back then. And we never got any, any credit for it. We were the first ones. <laughs> on this earth who developed a SaaS, a true SaaS program. No, I'm just uh, stretching a little bit. <laughs> I don't know that. I just assumed that we were the first ones because it was our own idea of multi-tenancy and uh, 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 configuration at individual uh, client level. So that was the idea. Right, Carl? Yes, sir. I, <laughs> and that's how we operate. <laughs> So in 2005, oh, by the way, so the, the program we had developed, uh, I myself call it glorified shared uh, Excel sheet. So we said, no, we need to develop it into a real solution. 
So from that, I, and I forgot the name of it, I, I was thinking about it. We didn't call it balance track, balance track the day one. We called it job tracking or something like that. Uh, so balance track was developed into an applicant tracking system. So we started working and timing had to be that, hey, there was OFCCP compliance requirements were, were coming and Michelle got into the business of uh, explaining to people what internet uh, applicant definition was. So we said, this is a great opportunity. So again, I created this imaginary ATS. We had no skills, knowledge of uh, recruiting. None of us uh, knew anything about recruiting, but we developed an applicant tracking system. Hey, I totally admit it, it's fine, now I know it. <laughs> but we developed an applicant tracking system that appealed to our uh, compliance related uh, uh, clients and Carl and team again developed a solution based on what? No, no specs at all, really. It's a uh, on the fly kind of <laughs> application. But we knew basically what we, were, uh, what we wanted to do. But good thing was we always talk to our clients and call, clients always tell us what they want and we started building it whatever client wanted basically. So here are, here are some early year screenshots. <laughs> there we go. So this was our SAS uh, applicant flow log or was it uh, ATS? I don't remember, but it, I think it was ATS, right? So it had like you could uh, co configure everything based on your specific specifications or needs, including colors. We were so excited when we offered our clients, <laughs> yes, <laughs> sales. <laughs> so that was the highlight of the entire application. People can customize their application for their uh, using their colors. So. <laughs> So that's how Balance Track emerged, and in 2006, uh, thanks to the OFCCP, we launched a full applicant tracking system called Balance Track. And again, people started liking it because it was uh, uh, it was compliance-focused SaaS application. There was there was nobody else in the market who could uh, who could claim that. People said, "Yeah, we are compliant," but nobody we knew was really compliant. But we made it. Uh, OFCCP compliant, we were the first one out there with that uh, ATS. All right, so these are more early years. This is our initial logo of Balance Works with uh, rocks, <laughs> which, is, which has been used by thousands of uh, times in, by different companies. And this is our, uh, uh, this is our application, uh, application for, uh, uh, for uh, client uh, or candidates to fill it out. So, so now we moved on to the new modern era of balance track. And in 2009, we decided to build or merge AAP into a suite, which is Balance Works, and integrate Balance uh, AAP and Balance Track both on the SaaS platform. And we rebranded it, and we got Swish. This, is, uh, this has been in use. Well, whatever that word is. <laughs> so we got the new look in 2009, and Balance AAP uh, became SaaS product along with Balance Track, and we started calling it uh, uh, Balance Works Suite, which nobody knew what that was, <laughs> but we still uh, internally we so sold it as Balance Works. <laughs> along with we also had, and the plan was to build all of our products uh, under that umbrella, which is what we are uh, actually uh, now, uh, we have started doing that, except uh, we killed the Balance Act. <laughs> <laughs> so what we call it, we tried to glamorize Balance Track uh, in 2009 as well. <laughs> we had some colorful charts and things that uh, we work with, and with the help of uh, OFCCP and Berkshire Name, we were able to acquire some good good names uh, around that time between 2009 and now, I guess. Uh, so we had uh, like Purdue came along, Pitt, Ohio, 84 Lumber, and Atlas Copco, et cetera. But, so this is our new look, glamorized look in 2009, which also changed later on as well. Then in 2015, so did you notice that I, uh, there was no Sodexo in there, right? So Sodex, uh, Balance Track came to rescue Sodexo again in 2015. When after pursuing them for several years uh, and convincing them, they 
they need to implement an applicant tracking system for their 100,000 uh, people business, which is all service side of it, front end, which they didn't have anything. It was all manually done. So this was the business problem we were posed, and we were kind of baffled. I know Paul and uh, Carl, oh, that's how you lost your hair, sorry. <laughs> so, so that's, <laughs> so coming up with these problems and saying, hey, just solve it, and that's where, <laughs> so I found another imaginary solution. <laughs> but that imaginary solution became reality for Sodexo, and that was, that actually surprised me. For I usually don't get uh, surprised by the, uh, the way we operate because we have full trust in. But this one was because I didn't expect Sodexo to go live within three months. Their first division was live within three months. And that included their training, setting up, configuration, everything. And within six months, we rolled it out for the entire uh, company, about five to 6,000 employees who had no idea what applicant tracking system is. Uh, they were used to doing everything manually, filing everything on their uh, filing cabinets, and that's what changed their world, and ours too. <laughs> so, <clears throat> 2017, again, we had to do something. We, uh, we can't just sit around and do nothing, right? So, uh, in 2017, beginning of uh, 2017, we decided we need to do something else, and we started re-architecting uh, the entire uh, balance work suite. And that's, that's what Carl and, uh, and the entire Berkshire team, there were a lot of people involved, including some client services, uh, sales and marketing and everybody else uh, developing the uh, requirements, developing the specs. And <clears throat> we almost rewrote, right? Uh, I, I say almost because there are still some sections we are still working on, not finished it yet. But we, we rewrote uh, everything from scratch and that's 18 months later, well, double the time the baby was born. <laughs> so 2018, Berkshire released its uh, newly architected, redesigned, rebranded, rewritten balance track, a talent acquisition system, talent acquisition system, not applicant tracking system. So ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the new balance track 4.0. Okay. No, there's no video or anything. We're not doing the demo. <laughs> it, that was it. <laughs> All right. So what's new balance track? New balance track is a solution designed to simplify recruitment process for users whose core function is not recruiting. So we designed it not for the... Okay. Give me one minute. Almost done. So... Uh, it's not meant for those large corporations where you have hundreds of recruiters doing that. We wanted to serve uh, a totally different audience, non-tech <coughs> non, non savvy or people who are not doing this recruiting day to day. They, their core business, core function is something else. So we want to make it so simple for this core uh, users that they will not have to learn it like uh, you are learning a new, uh, new phone system nowadays. Need, it's a powerful solution to solve day-to-day -day recruitment function. That's what we wanted to give them. And make it adaptable so that it fits their business process, not ours. So that's balance track, and we call it SPA. Simple, powerful, and adaptable. And that's SPA. <laughs> so thank you all. Thank you for my development team, all of you. It, big round of applause including Candace, our original balance track developer. For those of you who don't know her, she, she started. And thank you for coming and, and uh, uh, taking uh, uh, every solution, imaginary solution that I have offered you and making into reality. Thank you very much. And the support team, you, without your support, we, can't ha we cannot deliver a product. So thank you again. And thank you, Beth. Where is she? All right. For giving me time and freedom to imagine solutions. <laughs> Lou Anu, who's not here, 
balance stack 4.0 became reality from management point of view, execution point of view, because of her. So I give all the credit to her uh, for keeping it together. <coughs> Carla, thank you for standing by me and supporting every crazy idea that I come across. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and my sales team. You guys are the best. Thanks. <laughs> so what I need from you, journey has just started. It is not the end. This is just the beginning. Now we are going to play in, in the major league. So we have to be ready. This, this is something, it's everybody's baby. It's not just mine. So <laughs> we want you to start doing track talk, not trash talk, track talk <laughs> with pride. <laughs> And we need your help. So start talking to anybody you know, anywhere you get a chance, like I do. Any party I go to, I talk about applicant tracking system. Yes, I'm crazy. I do. <laughs> I know. But at least uh, whenever you get an opportunity, talk about it. So that was uh, the journey. And now we will uh, switch to, hey, so Tim Sackett, are you on? I am. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. All right. So we're going to switch it to your video Te for a second. No, Hold on. Sorry. There we go. You know. Hey, we can see you. You cannot see us probably, right? This is uh, Tim Sackett. I was so impressed with this guy. I went to one of the conferences. I think it was Unleash or somewhere. And this guy was presenting in a large ballroom full of people, people sitting in round tables. And this guy was all over the floor uh, walking around and talking at the same time without running out of breath and staying on the topic. He is so natural, so loved him, not because of that, not just because of presentation, but this guy is a treasure uh, of knowledge in talent acquisition, recruiting business, and all that. So we have, uh, uh, we have uh, worked out a, a deal that he will help me make this balance track work great again. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> I, no. I, I have a hard time hearing, so I'm not exactly sure, you know, what was everyone's laughing about, so. <laughs> That's fine. So, Tim, uh, take away, uh, tell us uh, what you think of uh, Balance Track and the industry in general and where we are heading. Uh, and I wanted to introduce you to the uh, Berkshire team. Uh, they wanted to meet you. I thought this would be a great opportunity, and uh, you can talk about uh, uh, about industry, a TA awesome. and balance track. Where do we fit? Cool. So, hey everybody, um, you can you can find me like at timsackett.com. I mean, there's only like two Tim Sacketts in the world. There's me, and there's a truck driver chaplain in Minnesota. Which I'm not the the truck driver chaplain, which would be really cool if I was, but I'm not. I'm just Tim Sackett at you know that right spot HR stuff. So. Um, and so I was really excited to get together with the Balance Track team, primarily because the industry is so hot. And then there's there's so much like confusion around the ATS market. There's like probably a thousand ATSs worldwide in the market, most of which are just garbage. Um, there's a handful that are pretty good. And what Manoj and the team have put together is one of those that you would say is, is a super solid, really good product. Um, and primarily because there's no one in the market that's really going after like really massive volume hiring. When you talk about, hey, we need to hire a hundred machine operators, or we need to hire, a, you know, whatever, a thousand of this. Um, everyone's really going after the tech market in a really big way, which is fine. There's a lot of market there, um, but the reality is, is that's not the majority of hiring. That's not the real pain that I think the buyer and the buyer that's going to go after Balance Track is really looking for, which really made me excited about what was being put together. And then the whole design aspect and the panels and everything else that's being done, the team there that's been doing the work on there has done some really great stuff. You can't, uh, any ATS that's been designed in the last probably 24 months, which Balance Track is one of those, um, and, and, being, and being refreshed from a design standpoint has a total different look and feel than all these legacy systems. I mean, um, you know, and that's one of the issues I think that most of the companies are, are struggling with is that, they struggle to hire because they're using data technology. So the marketplace for Balance Track and where we're going with it is huge, and that's what really gets me excited. So, um, Manoj, is there any questions that anybody might have? 
Did I lose you guys? If you can hear me, I can't hear you guys. So just trying to figure that out. Oh. This. They start miming stuff. Like, I don't know sign language very well, so. I can, I can, I can, yeah. Cool. Well, you'll 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 see that I'm I'm actually getting ready to speak in like 15 minutes. So it's <laughs> yeah. Good, hey, congratulations! Uh, can't wait to see where everything goes, and so excited to be a part of the team. Thanks, guys. All right. You can't be see me anyway. All right. So I'm sure everybody everybody's waiting to yeah, it's on. Everybody is waiting to hear from one person for sure, right? <laughs> Come on over, Carl. So was that supposed to say something tonight? I didn't. Oh, no, it says we're testing your leadership skills. Oh, OK. All right, good. <laughs> A rousing success this will be. Yeah. No. I... Yeah. I, can I just take questions? Would that be better? No. I, I, where, where's Carla? Carla, thank you. In January. This was fantastic. And Jess, I know you were involved, too. I mean, this we've we've been at this a really long time. We're not going to say how long. I know I missed the last staff meeting, but we've been at this a long time, and this, we've never done anything like this. So this has been absolutely fantastic. So thank you, very very much. Um, the other thing is, you know, how excited we have Candace back. She, you know, Manoj gave her a lot of attention, but I mean seriously, I mean. So, Manoj, just a little clarification. Job track was a separate system that we had that Candace developed. Yeah, every time someone had an idea, Candace developed about 15 of them. Uh, Cheryl, the job description system, also Candace. Candace hasn't been with the company for four years now, and that system was developed when she was an intern. So, we'll just put that into perspective. And she's the director of software development now. That's right. No matter how hard you try to make her, she did not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Now I'm stealing your bit. I'm starting to roast my nose, and that's not good. Yeah. So no, I I I am very excited, honestly, to be here and to do this because it not only feels like a celebration of the product. It you know, for us, everything Manoj talked about in the previous. Uh, presentation about where the growth and where it's been, it feels more of like a graduation, you know, like a commencement exercise in a way, because we've really just been learning for the last 12 years to get to this point. It's like now we have something, you know, we heard from Tim and Paul and I have had the opportunity to see Tim too present and he is amazing, you know. So to have him on our team and help guide us and give us advice and speak well of the product, that really gives us that feeling like, hey, we're like, we're in the big time now. So it's fantastic to see that all come together, and it does. Early on, you know, when we talk about the product back when it was the applicant flow log, and Manoj represented it like very honestly, so props to you. He comes over and just pitches these ideas. We're like, we don't know how to do this, you know? And, and I likened it like being in elementary school, right? Because it was an identity thing. We're an AAP company, you know, we are. We've been doing it for 35 years. God, I hope I got that right, 35 years with confidence that we've been doing that. We've been developing software, first automated system, all that good stuff. And Manoj is like, okay, we're going to develop uh, an applicant tracking system now. And we're like, okay. Oh, and it's going to be web-based. Okay, well, you know, and when you start to get into that, you know, you start to go, well, I don't know how to do that, but we figured it out. And there was that push there to do that. So the identity, 
uh, the feel of learning how to develop that solution. And so we worked through that. And that kind of likened us to elementary school in that way. And then we figured out the awkwardness of everything. Uh, you mentioned the colors and then the, the color scheme and everything. How many, how many designers have we been through? Um, there was Jenny, there was Javi. Thankfully, Javi was just like throwing the book at the wall, like this is not going to work, this color scheme. And we kind of, you know, in, in middle school, you go through that awkward phase, right? You've got that appearance. You're like, I'm trying to figure out who I am. And Javi figured that out for us. But he took it to a point that we needed someone to put some structure to it. Meanwhile, we're building all these other products. So someone should really point out that, I mean, track 4.0, we have one designer, so Carrie, thank you, who put the whole face on this thing. And she really got everything. And we're like, there's no way she's going to get it done. About a year and a half ago, we're like, we're going to hire somebody else to help Carrie. Does anybody see a second designer here? I don't, you know. So thank you to Carrie for doing that and put that together. So we worked through that awkward phase. And then there was the awkward phase of, uh, well, Manoj kept coming up with these systems, right? So, so we, no, we sold it to this bank or this another bank or maybe another bank and we were selling to all these people and we just this is how we handled it we copied the entire system and then we made the changes they want we were trying to host these 10 things at one time it wasn't going to float and that's why we ended up coming with a new system but what was interesting was product support every single time we're given a checklist go to the client say okay just figure out how this is going to happen and they did it so where's kathy kathy was through those checklists and now we've got Megan and Seth and Jess and everyone's on board and we've matured this process. We've gone from a checklist with a phone call and an email that's gone to an eight week process. And that wasn't an easy thing. So thank you to all of you for doing that and Paul for leading that because I know that sometimes they're pushing on these product support people to the point of, uh, I'm sure you guys want to quit half the time so thank you for being here tonight. <laughs> but also for talking them off the ledge and working with them. And he knows when they're extremely challenging some of the clients that we may have mentioned earlier, but I'm not going to confirm that, that you've helped deal with them directly. So thank you for that. And we kind of worked through that. And as well as, I'm not sure if Patty's here, I don't think she is, but our documentation used to be about eight pages. And it was like, it was like all plain text, uh, looked like a notepad document, and then there were like little links that showed pictures of the buttons, because that was helpful. Uh, <laughs> and so we worked with every new screenshots of the application. And now we've got like these huge user guides and hundreds of pages, and she cares about that, right? So if there's something that's not there that's not right, like an image or something, she lets us know. And that's pretty fantastic to have. Uh, so all this is kind of coming together. You know, that was our middle school years, you know, working up to graduation, where we're learning from that. And then the past 18 months, as Manoj said, was it really 18 months? Yeah. I'm just getting old. Everything's flying by. So 18 months, we've been developing this product. And you know, I liken that to high school. You know, here we are now, and you know, Candace, and then all these folks came in. And it's sort of like when you go to a high school, right? You're in this like tiny little group, and all of a sudden you go there, and you're meeting all these people with all these different viewpoints and all these things. And here we are with all these brilliant minds building this product. I mean, seriously, everybody here has been contributing. It's been amazing, you know, and we try to work in such a way that we hear everybody and hear what they want to say, and that's why this product is going to work. Uh, it's been fantastic. So thank you to all of you guys for contributing every day. Um, the other thing that reminded me of, of high school with this is a debate team, right? So every single thing that we talk about, Toggles, anybody? Anyone talking about it? So there are certain things in the product that we just go over and over and over. But you know what? The only reason we're doing it is because we care about the clients. And we're trying to figure out how to sell that, right? We're trying to figure out how to market it to be like, oh, well, we care about clients. We have support. You go to any other website, they say the same thing. But the difference is, like, we're not some sort of venture capitalist firm and darlings in Silicon Valley. We're actually people who just built this because we care about our clients. We're trying to provide them a solution. And now we've done it. So it's kind of interesting. So I'm very thankful for that. Last analogy. Everyone knows I love analogies, so I apologize. But you know, the reason we've got there is because we had that Robin Williams character jumping on the desk preaching to us. That's Minoj. We can kind of draw that like, but uh, it's true. Everything that he's been doing, I mean, uh, there are so many times a week that we're like, this is, you know, we can't do this. We're not going to do this. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. I don't know how many times, sorry, can we edit that out? How many times behind closed doors we've had that conversation where like, I, we're, we can't do this. So I don't know how we're going to link with them. Or, and you know what? Maruj is still batting at 80%. That's pretty good. So <laughs> I'm not going to talk about our 
Well, I can't, they're defunct now, Arbita, right? So that was the one. So we've had a couple, we just had the conversation about yesterday, we're like, that didn't go anywhere, but that's okay. <laughs> because all the way from elementary school, where he taught us to play nice in the sandbox, to now where we're in this big team pushing us forward, that's helped us. So thank you. As much as I give you grief, thank you. <laughs> we do appreciate it. And it's, it's been a long time coming. So anyway, I, I will stop talking now. But I will say that like anything else, I will. I won't forget. The, uh, it's one of those things where it's like, I do. I feel like we're graduating. And now we're going to take everything that we've learned these last 15 years. Man, we really must have failed a lot somewhere along the way. That sounds what it sounds like. But we were actually continuously College improving. Two. College too. Three we're years of college. Thank you. Three years of preschool. And then 12 years, and now we're there, and to go out, launch out into the world, and, and uh, I'm excited to see all the stuff that we're going to add on top of this to make us blow everybody out of the water. So thank you. All right, now for our keynote speaker. So you want to go that way? Yeah. Our closing speaker, who's been able to help let us do all this stuff, which we're very grateful, all of us, is Beth. <laughs> So let is a very uh, generous word there, because I'm not sure anyone has ever tried to say no to Manoj. Anyone? <laughs> I, I just think he, uh, I'll say no, and then like four days later, someone's like, did you hear? I'm like, no, I did not. <laughs> I didn't realize that uh, no meant yes in his world, but no. Um, and I'm excited it did, because I think, uh, you know, kind of a joke, uh, he's the yin to my yang, right? I'm very risk adverse, and he's like, let's throw it all out there. Um, so I think we make a great team in terms of over the past time. Um, and I think it's very uh, apropos for college. I know, you know, Carl mentioned Candace came as an intern, but let's not forget, uh, Carl also came as an intern, and we did let him drink. Um, <laughs> So uh, anyone wants to hear about that, I have a great memory, and so we can share some stories. Um, so no, I, you know, I don't want to take up a lot of time. I'm very proud of what we've built. I, you know, I feel like I've been a little bit on the outside. I was at the ILG conference, and Tim Orlano was like, oh my gosh, 4.0 is awesome, and it does this and this. And he asked me a question. I was like, uh, I need to learn about that. Uh, <laughs> I was like, if anyone asked me about Bound Track, can I send them to you? And he was like, yes, I love it. My <laughs> clients love it. So um, it's phenomenal. Uh, you know, I'm very excited. I've seen it. Uh, I'm excited to use it to recruit and, and bring in more people over the years. And uh, congratulations to everyone and all of your hard work. It's definitely appreciated. And uh, again, I don't have any good analogies, or I'm not going to jump around like Minoj. But um, <laughs> thank you all very much. Appreciate you also being here tonight. So thank you. Thank you, Doug. So, are, do we feel track-tastic? If, if we don't, get another trackerita or get a couple more trackeritas. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to actually, you know, it's going to take a, an, an entire Berkshire team effort, right, for us to have our track ears on all the time or a track antenna. Really, really important. Um, but seriously, um, Balance Track, as Berkshire evolves, Manoj has convinced me, will become a flagship for us. Very important. The ATS market today is $1.2 billion. By 2023, it's projected to be $1.8 billion. And you heard Tim Sackett say a few minutes ago, there's 1,000 ATSs out there, right? So we need your help. I need your track ears. We need your, we need your track antenna. Um, because Balance Track, I've been in town acquisition 20 years. 10 years in town acquisition solutions. I've seen a lot of those, not all of those 1,000 ATSs, but what we have is, is pretty special and it's powerful. And the power of the technology team makes it simple. The power of implementation and product support makes it adaptable. And we have something really special to take to market that's really track-tastic. So uh, keep those track ears on, keep that track radar out. And um, just a couple of quick thank yous, Carla, January, Nancy, the entire marketing team, you put on an incredible party. Thank you very much. I want to thank everybody here at Groove Commerce, especially Drew back there uh, on the switchboard, and Nicole as well for, for hosting us here. 
the food, I, th I think, remains until 6. The bar is open until 6. The bus leaves at 6.15, but let's, let's get, our, let's get our, our track-tastic on. Thank you very much for coming.